Hello, what's up everybody? This is B-Boy Tech back with another video. Today here we got Nano Wire, and today I'm going to show you how to get their command line application working on Windows. This most of these steps are going to be the same for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Raspbian, which is just another version of a Linux. I'm just taking a look. My team viewer is kind of freezing. I'm recording via team viewer because another application is not it's not letting me display the window on the full computer. I'm just going to try to adjust the window mode a bit. There we go. Just so then that way it's kind of centered. But uh, sorry about that. It's not letting me record it correctly. So here we got the um, information. First of all, you're going to have to download the command line version that you'll need. So there's Windows, Mac, Linux, and Raspbian, which is just another version of basically Linux. Um, once you download it, you're going to get a download file that looks like this. I also suggest that you go to here and go to your browser and then download a notepad plus plus by going to here you can go here download doesn't matter which version you go in and grab but just make sure that you if you you can grab the 32-bit version it doesn't matter of notepad plus plus but just grab that i do suggest that you guys grab that so it tells you what you have to do first is download it inside the configuration. There's going to be a, that file. So you're going to open up this up and move everything from here. And I suggest that you guys just put it right to your desktop. So on your desktop, you can find those files. Easiest way to is you could go date modified and see that it's there. Now, inside here, the one that we want to modify is this one here. And sometimes you can't really modify that one. So you go to, if you download Notepad++, you can then go to edit with Notepad++. Now it tells you that you need an API key here. It should tell you you can add your API key. So you can go here in the website to settings and then create your key. Now this is for selling unused data or buying unused data. Now if you guys want to make money, of course you're going to put selling. And then you grab that key that it shows you there and paste it right here it's going to look like this by default but you're going to put it into sell if you're selling now there's a little bit of information of what it tells you the maximum amount of bandwidth you would like to sell example an isp provider providers or sorry isp provides 20 megabits upload and 40 megabits download the biggest number that you can reliably rent is the lower of both of those. So if your internet provides you 10 up and 20 down, you can only sell 10. If your internet provides 20, then you can do that. Now, this is all information. Anything that's in here with that hashtag symbol is information that is commented out it, the program doesn't use that it will only use this or this now if you read on more to keep 50 percent of your bandwidth for personal use simply divide the maximum number in half so i set it to the 20 we're going to go in and just set it to 5 just to be safe. Well, what else you guys could do too 
is go to the computer and go or on your phone or whatever and do a Wi-Fi speed test on either or. Now see, a lot of people always get more download. So if your internet, you pay 300, you know, or you know, you pay a good amount for download, you usually gonna, you usually don't get as much down, upload and download altogether. Download is usually always more. Just keep in mind that. But we're gonna have it on five to be safe, because even though my download is 294 megabits right now my uploads only eight so if we go here I can show you guys here what I just did Wi-Fi speed test uh, we can go and start it on here as well too so you can see my uh, download is quite good uh, it's getting a little bit less on this type of computer right here but my uploads actually getting better on this computer but we're gonna go in and keep it on my uploads doing pretty good right now actually so it was just on my phone that it was lower but you can see my upload on here is 30 we're gonna do a safe of let's just do 10 Or 15? Nah, 10. Now we're going to go in and save that. So you want to make sure you stick your API key that you get over from here. You can create a new K, K key. You tell if you want to sell. You give it a name, create, and it gives you a new key. And you go in and type that in there. So technically, um, I don't think you really need to have... Uh, multiple computers running on the same internet provider if you have multiple internet providers in your household or you know um, if your work gives you a computer that has access to a type of internet then you know make sure that you're not breaking any rules of work but that's where I could only see if you have multiple households or stuff like that, multiple internet service providers. So I don't think that you need to do that. So what we're going to do is save that there. close that one there so now we can see that it's saved so make sure you guys have notepad plus plus and then it tells you if we go back to here to click on control shift on your keyboard and right click and then you're gonna go open PowerShell window here so now you can see a PowerShell window has opened up. Now we can go back here and it tells you when you open that, you can write this command to tell it to sell. Oh yeah, also too, sorry that I don't have my camera on, but, you know, I, I was trying to do this video quick, because someone was wondering. So now it says, welcome to Nanoware. The client will connect you to and wait for proxy connection. If you see the message waiting for proxy connection, everything is working normal. Please continue to wait. Do not close this program. You will see activity only when someone is connected to you. So, um, it could take some time, I'm sure, to 
but that's how you set it up. I don't think I didn't have it running. I went ahead and tried to just see if it would go in and do anything, but I walked away from it. Well, I, I was working, so I turned it off. I just wanted to see if I can go in and get it working without an error. But this is the Nano Wallet, which is where it should show you any of your earnings. Now, though, it's saying waiting for a proxy connection. So you could just leave this window open in the background. And eventually there will be a connection that starts up with you. I don't know how long it will take. I don't know. They... They started in 2020, so they're still new, so I would say just give it some time, see if you make anything. It's not like um, any of the other ones, but I mean, it might be safer than some of the other ones. It might not be, so just keep that in mind um, before you start selling them, you know, but yeah. I would like to say thank you guys for watching. Peace out and stay safe.